Are you tired of misplacing passes in FIFA 22? I am of course talking about the player lock. Now you might think you already know what it is, but knowing how to do it and knowing what it is, basically these are two very different things. Let me tell you how to use its full potential, the player lock. Okay, first let me show you how to do the player lock. In order to do the player lock, first you have to click L3 and R3 like you can see on the controller. If you're on Xbox, that is your LS and RS. You click them in and then you know you flick your right stick towards the player which you want to do the player lock on and then you make a run you see over here it would be very hard for me to make a run with Cruyff manually so quickly right <laughs> so what do we do we use the player lock because we now use the player lock what happens we manually go into the space remember fifa is about exploiting the space and finding the space right and this is what the player lock allows you to do write it down it allows you to find the space and exploit the space now we have the space with Cruyff running in behind we see this space and you know what we are gonna do we're gonna make this run and rather than you know using l1 r1 driven pass which is not on we use the normal ground through pass and then we are through and we score a beautiful goal now secondly look in this example okay this is where the player lock comes in so handy now we do the same this is thinking one step ahead write it down right player lock will help you think one step ahead because now we are thinking one step ahead we player lock into Geniola with Cruyff we run just look we run and we make him run into the space for where he pulls his players out of position and then because i told you that ai will always make a better pass than a human can ai will make a better pass than a human can when we are in the player lock the passing accuracy is increased it is on steroids and the goal is to player lock into your player and then drag him into the empty space and then call for the pass okay and in, a, in another situation when you're doing this often you will see your the opponent's player charging at you what do you do you just cancel the player lock with l3 and r3 you pass it to someone else and you have ended up opening some space for yourself this is why it is so important to master the player lock i have been using it so much in my game so effectively and it has helped me at the top level of the game now look at in the last example right once again cruyff is making the run over here i can make a normal through pass i can make the you know l1 r1 triangle but i go with the player lock it's my muscle memory now and because i do that normal triangle pass i am all through cruyff is through and i end up scoring a goal so what have we learned today guys we have learned that we do the player lock to be versatile and unpredictable we use the player lock to improve the passing accuracy when we have to do a through pass we will quickly do a player lock and make our player run manually into the empty space and then ask for the through pass Okay, or sometimes a driven pass, whatever is more appropriate according to the situation. Once we call for that pass, then we make that pass and we end up scoring such goals. Guys, we please master it. Go into kickoff, put the beginner, sorry, put difficulty to beginner, put half length, 20 minutes. Keep mastering the player lock until it is in your muscle memory. And then you will see once you use it in rivals and foot champs, how effective it is. It will improve your passing accuracy. It will make you more unpredictable and more versatile until next time it's me king sunny art see you